I had recently caught up with this woman, Kerry Brody. We went there actually on a weekend, okay? She has a place down in Brooklyn, and what Kerry, mm -hmm. and what Kerry does is um, she, she trains people who come here who are recent refugees how to be top-end chefs. And she takes people into her organization and gives them skills and lets them go out into the world to go make money. Let's go watch how she helps people achieve their American dream. My name is Kerry Brody and I'm the executive director and founder of Emma's Torch. Emma's Torch is a nonprofit social enterprise that does culinary training and job placement services to refugees and survivors of human trafficking. And we run a little cafe out here in Brooklyn where our students train and gain the necessary skills to access the job market. We take two students at a time for eight weeks. We help ensure that they have job placement success by the end of the time they're with us. We do informal English education along the way, so we're teaching very specific items that they need to use, and all of our instruction is in English. Our curriculum is developed through our chef as well as through our Chef's Council, which is a loose formation of different restaurant individuals who help us understand what our students need to be able to do in order to access the job market and land successful jobs. So it can be chopping skills, how to make a prep list, or anything um, in between. We work very closely with refugee resettlement agencies and homeless shelters who refer in clients who then apply for our program. So not only is our program free, we actually pay our students while they are learning, so they really do treat it like a job. In order for our students to apply to our program, they need to have legal work authorization in the U.S. And more than anything else, they need to have a passion for food. Our students come from all over the world, Saudi Arabia, Nepal, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Mexico, Honduras, Burkina Faso, Togo, and Guinea. We have refugees who are fleeing large-scale conflicts. We have asylees who are fleeing because of who they are and who they love. And we have people who are brought here against their will, um, who are trafficked and brought here as slaves. But when they walk in the door, they're no longer any of those categories. They're chefs. My name is Claudine Jalou Traoré. I come from uh, West Africa, Burkina Faso. This program gives me a lot of experience and uh, I, I learned the best here in this program. MS Touch, I learned the chef cooking. I have uh, my kids, Africa, and my family. Very proud to me. I'm continue to learn uh, management for the kitchen. My American dream is to open my own restaurant, live here and uh, bring something good in this country. My dream is going to be real now. God bless America something new every day from our students, whether it's a new way of thinking about flavor profiles or how to display something or even just understanding what the true meaning of human perseverance is, I feel really lucky and inspired by them. We don't see them as victims, we see them as chefs. So invariably when they get their first paycheck, they'll usually thank me. And I have to explain, you don't have to thank me, you earned that, you have that by right. One of our students was working at White Mustache, which is a wonderful artisanal company here in Red Hook. Um, and we can't wait to see where the rest of them head. And we have had eight graduates so far, and we're really hopeful that we can help as many people as possible. Emma's Torch is named after Emma Lazarus. She was a feisty woman in the 1800s who wrote the poem that's on the Statue of Liberty. And to us, her vision of what it meant to be American was to welcome in the stranger, and that's something that we hope to continue on. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door.